welcome back to Flauchi Eats. And if you are here the same way that I'm here, then it's Easter, Easter. So happy Easter, everybody. So today, you guys, I am basically going to just be eating Easter food that I cooked today. So later on in the video, I'm going to be adding a few clips so you guys can see my process in which I made and which I did to make the Easter food, bitch. The chef you feel me? Sits down to me. <laughs> I'm finally sitting down to eat. I can never eat right after I cook. It's the craziest thing. Well, anyways, you guys. So, for Easter, you know, Jesus is the reason for the season. So, I made pot roast with mini yellow potatoes, mini carrots, portobello mushrooms. I got that little trick from Mama D. Shout out to Mama D. Also, I did like a um, broccoli and cheese balsamic rice also i did a killer mac and cheese okay a four cheese mac and cheese so yes you guys later on oh i also did honey cornbread okay shout out to jiffy so anyways you guys i'm going to be eating a little of this with you guys and also i'm going to be showing you how i made this meal i'm going to be dropping those clips yeah. and also he wants y'all to see his sandwich okay <laughs> you ate a lot today okay so um babe you gonna dip it in the juice I got juice now you guys a lot of the juice that i have inside of the roast the beef broth that i have inside of the pot roast i'm gonna um put some of it in a container and use it for when i do like a filet mignon sauteed you know something like that and then um the other he's also using the gravy as a dip for his roast beef sandwich with a lot of mayonnaise on it. Oh, yeah. Okay. A lot of mayonnaise on it. <laughs> Anyways, let's eat. And I'm here today to eat vegetables. What'd you say? Huh? Oh, honey. I'm about to eat. Honey. Honey. Yes, and I have a nice cold glass of Chardonnay. So I'm gonna hold the plate up just so you guys can see me, you know, dig in there. Oh, it's so hot. Everything's so hot. I'm gonna burn my mouth. Mmm. Oh my God. Mmm, 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 mmm. They roast though. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm. The mac and cheese is very creamy. Very creamy. Very good. Okay. You know the dog cooks them. The dog cooks. Mmm. I knew. I knew I was going to drop that. Mmm. Cheese is very creamy. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. 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 Um, I know you guys saw the title. And we are gonna get into that. I wish I could show the plate at the same time. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try for y'all. Mm. Y'all having a good Easter so far? Mm. Oh my God. Look at that roast. Mm. 
Tender, baby. She tender. Okay? She's tender. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Let me tell y'all something. I'm going to a funeral because I'm killing this food. I know. Mm. Oh. The mac and cheese. The mac and cheese, though. Not no dry mac and cheese. That's creamy. Creamy, cheesy. Cheesy. But I need the cheese. Okay. Okay. Mmm. So good. Okay, so let's talk about the title. So, mm. bless you, baby. Mm. Cheers. Mm. I'm wearing a hustler pink lip stain. Liquid matte lipstick by Flauchi. Okay. I'm eating it off. <laughs> that wine is so cold. Close. I put it in the freezer. What I do is I get my bottle. I rinse it off. Because ever since coronavirus and we got used to rinsing stuff off. I rinse my bottle off after I rinse it out. Put that hole in the freezer. Let her freeze. Baby. Okay. Your Chardonnay gonna be nice and cold. Oh, excuse me. Mm. 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 Okay, so let's get into the title. Now, like I said, you would probably end up with a pimp. Okay. And I'm going to tell you the reason why I say that. So I was watching this video of these mukbangers and they're like in this relationship. I'm not sure if it's a real relationship or if it's a fake relationship. You know, I don't really know what it really is at this point. But one of the people are very, you know, well-traveled and, you know, they do this and that. The other one is a full-time mukbanger. And he recently said that in his relationship that, um, you know, they could do like some Amish shit. You know, they could do like some sharing of the mail, you know, um, sharing your man with another woman and having this open relationship. And what I want to say about that is that I just feel like the female in this particular situation, I feel like that you are very weak and you, you are very susceptible to being pimped. You could easily be someone's hoe. You could easily be on the street, street walking for someone because what you have done is you have given someone your brain. You have given someone the ability. You have let them know that I will be so submissive to you that I will potentially let you brainwash me. So for you to be, oh, I can speak all these languages. Oh, you know, I got a head full of thick hair. You know, I can cook. I can love. You are a lot of amazing things. But one thing that you also are, and you might not recognize it, is you, you, um... You long for love and to fulfill someone else's identity of submissiveness. Um, you are willing to take that identity to prove that you can be a submissive woman. While saying that you're an alpha woman. And you're saying that 
you would share your man and have an open relationship. You know what I'm saying? I'm cool with that. I'm good with that. I could do something like that. It just shows that you are a very weak person. It shows that mentally you could potentially be the next pimp's bottom hope. So what you need to do, you need to get spiritually back reconnected with Christ. When you start feeling like that you would submit in that type of way, it means that there's something in, in you that's truly missing. And it's probably your spirituality. I've been that girl. I've been that girl to where, you know, you get so far from God, from so far from God, you forget to pray. Don't ever forget to pray. Don't ever forget to, that God is still with you through it all. And you should never have to prove to any man or anyone that you're with that you can be submissive. You can be so submissive that I would even have an open relationship and share you. If that means that I get that submissive card from you as you being this man, you know, that, that I want, you know. So I'm willing to bow down and do all these things. And the only person that you should be submitting to is Jesus. So girl, get it together. And uh, reevaluate. And I'm just saying, it just is what it is. You have the potential of being some pimp's bottom hole. You have the potential of being on the track or, you know, working the hotels or whatever it may be, whatever they're doing in the new millennium. I could see you with a pimp. And I could see you really letting him drag you for a long time. So, and, and, and you know, and, and it taking a while for you to wake up. So instead of you going through all that, let's bypass that. And, and look within yourself and see what makes you feel like that you would allow a man to make you have an open relationship where you're not a queen enough for him, where you're not a woman enough for him, that, that, that you must submit and share him. Okay. Remember, no matter what you do, take Christ with you and you will make it out. And holla at your girl. I will see you the next month. Bang. Thank you guys for joining me. Mm. Have a great rest of the evening. It's Easter. Okay. Look, he does this little thing on the stove. Tell him how you made it, baby. I brought it. He put the oven on broil and then he put it on the rack. You put it on the rack and up here. He's gonna make him a little, another little uh, pot roast, roast sandwich. sandwich. This pot roast is gonna be gone. When I said I'm gonna start cooking for the size of my family, it seemed like they started eating more. Okay? I'll be right back. Like, comment, and subscribe. You enjoy your food. <laughs> Happy Easter. What are you guys doing for Easter? I'm cooking pot roast, mac and cheese, homemade mac and cheese, cornbread, and I'm smacking on them on a fortune cookie. All right. What are you guys doing for Easter? Yes, I, okay, these are the vegetables for the roast guys. Okay. Ditos. I'm making you a pot of roast. For Easter. And we're gonna season it soon. Oh, it's already a tender cut. So it's already um I got all my seasonings on this. So I can just kind of You gotta smack it like salt bay. You like salt bay? Smack it. <laughs> okay, so thanks. <laughs> okay, it's about to go down. We're about to put this thing in the oven, girl. Put her in there. Put her in there. Oh, put her in there. She's going to be so good and hot and creamy. Ooh. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> okay, we got the broccoli and cheese, and the cheese is melting. Zone, honey. Zone. Like, comment, and subscribe. My baby said I have a nice kitchen. I try to cook neat. I try to cook clean. I try to think about, 
You know, everybody, like somebody has to wash dishes, like somebody has to cook. I try to think of everyone. I like those too. So let's let's show the Easter food. Okay, you guys, so this is our, you you do the honors. Go right back. And this is the, the honey cornbread. Oh my God, ew. Okay guys, and this is our pot roast. I have it in a big pan. This is a big, what size pot roast is, is this? This is a two and a half pound pot roast because you guys, I have a small family, um, but we have a lot of vegetables. So I put it in a big pan. So we got the mini uh, baby potatoes. We got the portobello mushrooms. Y'all know I got that from Mama D. Shout out to Mama D. And uh, we also got the mini baby carrots. And you guys, you know, I do mine in a beef broth. So my broth is a beef broth. Okay, you guys. So this is Easter dinner. Oh, let me show you over here. We have our broccoli and cheese and balsamic rice. I, I wouldn't say casserole. It's like a dish that I make and it's really good. But anyways, you guys, there you go. Happy Easter. What you guys cook? Like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, every time I film, it's a dilemma. Every time. Anyway, this is the honey cornbread. You guys, don't make the mistake I did by putting the foil on your cornbread. It's going to lift up the, a little bit of your cornbread, girl. Shit. Because it was so hot. You know what I'm saying? So, anyways, there's our mac and cheese, bitch. Oh, all kind of mozzarella. All kind of parmesan. All kind of blanco. All kind of cheddar. It's going to be lit. Okay. And, y'all, I just don't got to where I do everything like this. So, everybody can just come and kind of get their food like a caterer would do. Oh my God. Okay, you see that. I want a roast beef sandwich. I know, you're going to be able to do whatever you want to do. Okay. Yeah. Okay, guys, and this is our pot roast. I have it in a big pan. This is a big, what size pot roast is, is this? We got the mini uh, baby potatoes. We got the portobello mushrooms. Y'all know I got that from Mama D. Shout out to Mama D. And uh, we also got the mini baby carrots. And you guys, you know, I do mine in a beef broth. So my broth is a beef broth. Okay, you guys, so this is Easter dinner. Oh, let me show you over here. We have our broccoli and cheese and balsamic. You cute. After you shit it on the couch. Oh, I bet you are cute.